What's going on guys? So in this video we are going to be looking at an important concept when we're trying to add two different lists together. Now there's two different methods we can use, append versus extend. So we're going to take a look at both and see how each affects the concatenation of two different lists. Alright, so let's just get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a list. So we've created a list, x. And now we're going to create another list, y. So y is just a continuation of x if we're counting. So x is from 0 to 9 and y is from 10 to 19. Now we're going to look at two different ways to concatenate these lists. And this is through the usage of append and extend. So let's just see what happens when we use x.append. Okay, so we ran the command x append y, which is basically saying we want to append y to x. And if you take a closer look at the output, you'll see that y has been appended to x as if it was a list. So instead of adding the elements within the list, the append command actually appended y as a list. So you'll see that we have a case of nested lists. So now I'm going to reinitialize x with the starting values. And now we're going to append y to x, but we're going to use extend. So we're actually extending x with y. So let's just look at the outcome. Okay, so now if we look at extend, instead of adding the nested list y into x, we're actually just combining them into one single list. Or you could think of it as we're adding the elements of the y list into x instead of just appending it as a list. So this is the key difference between append and extend. And it's a very useful bit of knowledge to have, especially when you're trying to deal with uh, data preprocessing. All right, so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.